It's Chick and Nick on 1620 The Zone at 1620thezone.com. We are Texas. It's not just a motto. It's the pride of the Lone Star State. The burn orange in our veins. And the reason you don't mess with Texas. Longhorn Network, coming August 2011. Oof. Tough to hear. If it remains the Longhorn Network and broadcasting high school games, what would that sound like? Lowell Galindo and Kevin Dunn are yeah. going to be a couple well, uh, of the yeah. big faces and voices. High school game on the Longhorn Network. They sent us some, some clips, Let's right? Let's listen. We are Texas. All right, welcome back to the Longhorn Network's coverage of high school football. I am Lowell Galindo. Joined, as always, by Kevin Dunn, and we are live in Bradenton, Florida, for the matchup between Manatee High and Bayshore High. A lot of great players in tonight's game, Kevin, many of which would look great in a Longhorn uniform. Although I couldn't agree more. I mean, I mean, you look at quarterback Bobby Smith. I mean, he's a man amongst boys. He's His arm is great. He, he's got a great look to him. I mean, you put a Longhorn logo on his helmet, and he'll look even better, Lowell, if you know what I'm saying. He's thrown for 2,300 yards so far this season. That's a lot of yards. And you know what? I bet you a smooth nickel he throws for twice that many as a freshman for Texas. Oh, no truer words have ever been spoken. You know, it's funny, Kevin. I, I've heard he does not have a girlfriend right now. Uh, there are some co-eds in Austin that I'm sure could change that. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right, Lowell. Man, to be 18 years old again. Oh, yeah. I mean, I look 18, but that doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> anyway, Bobby Smith says he's narrowed down his college choices to Texas, Miami, and Florida State. It, Kevin, I think we'll have that narrowed down a little bit more by the end of the night. Y- yeah, well... It still might be three schools, but those three schools are going to be Texas, Texas, and Texas. <laughs> when we return, we'll take you inside Manatee High School. We'll meet Bobby Smith's teachers, his family, and find out what makes him quite possibly the most special player the Longhorns could ever recruit. We're back after this on the Longhorn Network. We are Texas. That sound about right? That was. That's not good. You know, there's another guy, Andrews Pete. Yeah. He's yeah. the brother of uh, yeah. Todd Pete. Pete Nebraska Pete. player. Sure. In Arizona. It's got to be. We are Texas. Oh, welcome back to the Longhorn Network. I am Lowell Galindo alongside Kevin Dunn. We are in Tempe, Arizona tonight. And in the middle of the first quarter, it is Corona del Sol leading Tempe high. Three to nothing. And, Kevin, we've already seen some great plays from Andrus Pete. You know, Lowell, it takes a keen eye, and, and it's difficult to know when an offensive lineman is making a great play, but not when you have an ISO cam, and that's what we've done tonight on the Longhorn Network. We've had a camera dedicated to Andrus Pete, and here he is doing his thing. Check out the width, the massive chest and back, and he gets <laughs> leverage on his opponent. You can see why he's rated as one of the best in the country at his position, Lowell. What makes him so good, Kevin? His character, his heart. You can talk measurables all you want, but if you don't have it inside, you're not going to make it, especially at a top-notch school like Texas. Well said. And our Andrus Peak Cam shows you just how great a man he is. Look at him in the huddle there, very attentive to what the quarterback is saying. And that quarterback, by the way, is Mitch Waters. He's a freshman. He has great potential there, Lowell. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him pan out into one of the best quarterbacks this school has ever seen. And if he is, he'll no doubt get a look from Texas. And if he doesn't pan out, well, I'm sure the Aggies will be knocking on his door. (laughs) But back to Andrews, Pete. His brother Todd went to a school in the central part of the United States in corn country. You'd have to think that Andrews will learn from his brother's mistakes. No doubt about it, Lowell. Back to the action here. Third down and four from their own 22-yard line. And Waters takes the snap, and there's a little flare screen out to the running back, Rodgers. And Rodgers breaks free! Rodgers is in the clear! 35, 40, 45 midfield. He is gone. Nobody's going to catch him. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and touchdown, Nick Rodgers. Wow! Mr. Rogers, 
Mr. Rogers, would you like to play in the Longhorns neighborhood? On behalf of Texas, let me officially offer you a scholarship, son. Oh, Kevin, look at him. I think he just flashed the hook of horn sign. Is that a verbal? Absolutely, Lowell. <laughs> <laughs> what exciting action here in Arizona. It feels a lot like Austin here, except not as good. We're back right after this. <laughs> We are Texas. <laughs> oh my god. This isn't good. They just offer a Can they do that? Are they verbal live on the air? I know they do that like the all American game stuff, but I I mean it's interesting to see what about sideline reporters? Yeah, that's what, where things can do? get dicey. Uh, play that one, Shane. We are Texas. Welcome back to the Longhorn Network. I am Lowell Galindo, joined by Kevin Dunn. We are in Corona, California, where the action has been muy caliente, especially with receiver Mateo Hernandez. Kevin, he is muy bueno. Muy bueno, fantastico. He would be a great addition for the Longhornos. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, former Longhorn receiver and current NFL wideout, Limus Swede, who was kind enough to join us during the Pittsburgh Steelers bye week. Limus... Oh, well, thanks, Lowell. When I played for the Horns, I would have loved to have the talent of Mateo Hernandez. He is the real deal, my friend. In fact, I've got him right here. Mateo, you are quite the talent, my friend. Oh, thank you. You know something, Mateo? You and I wear the same number. If you want to wear my number in school, I'll let you. Oh, that, that'd be great. Yep. And are we still on tonight for a quick stop to the Sizzler? Oh, uh, yeah, man. That, that'd be great. I, I don't have any money, though. Oh, uh, don't worry about that. I got you. Back up to you, guys. Thanks, Limus, and good luck next week against the Cleveland Browns. We're back right after this. We are Texas. Did you know who would be the best sideline reporter, though? I think we all know who would be the best sideline reporter. Play the next one, Shane. We are Texas. All right, welcome back to the Longhorn Network. I am Lowell Galindo. Let's send it down right now to our on-field reporter, Matthew McConaughey, for an update on the injured Bronco. Bobby Smith. Matthew? All right, all right, all right. Thank you, guys. I Am I on? I cannot hear air. I am on. Well, all right, all right, all right. Thanks, guys. I had the opportunity to speak with the head coach at halftime. He did assure me of two things. The first thing, he agrees with me that that young man would look fantastic in burnt orange next fall. That is, if he must wear a shirt. And also, that that ankle is feeling better. He had a nice opportunity to rest it at halftime, and he is expected to finish the game. Back up to you, gentlemen. All right, thank you, Matthew. Great stuff, as always. Looking sharp, with or without a shirt. We're back right after this on the Longhorn Network. He had no shirt on. Oh Texas. He did. He didn't have a shirt on. Oh my gosh! All right, one more here. Let's stick with Matthew because I think I think he's going to be a good sideline reporter. Sounds Let's great to me. Right. We are Texas. Welcome back to the Longhorn Network. I am Lowell Galindo alongside Kevin Dunn. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew? All right, thank you, fellas. As we draw near to kickoff, the temperatures down here on field level are stifling. Due to the heat, I had to personally take my shirt off over four hours ago. And dehydration does become a concern in these West Texas temperatures. That's why the Longhorn Network flew in special celebrity guest water boys for each team. Vince Young and Ricky Williams from the Longhorn Greats. They're going to keep the boys hydrated as this one goes on. Back up to you, fellas. All right, thank you, Matthew. Great stuff, as always. Looking sharp with or without a shirt. We're back right after this on the Longhorn Network. We are Texas. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, that is a fabulous Matthew McConaughey. That was really good. <laughs> oh. oh, it's about as spot on of a Matthew McConaughey as you're gonna find. <laughs> well, what, well, what are we? Well, how do we vote? Probably gonna be a violation of some kind. I don't know. I think the verdict's still out. Yeah, I mean they were pretty subtle about things, weren't like, they? All right, all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, coming up tomorrow, we'll have some uh, new promos for the Longhorn Network as well. Voiced by Matthew McConaughey. 
Ted says, wow, that Matthew McConaughey impression is pretty good. I think that needs to be a regular character. That is really season. good. And I completely agree. Hour three coming up on the Chicken Nick Show.